I'm Bill Kerr, the designer of the new local color dye for AccuQuilt. This is the quilt that you can make with this, or you could do many variations of this, but the basic block is interlocking circles, and it's a great way to play with transparency. And the die is a wonderful tool for accurate cutting, and it even has little points to help you line things up when pinning and sewing the curves. And for those of you who are a little anxious about curves, and I know there are a lot of you out there, this is really a nice straightforward quilt. And if you've ever wanted to try curves but been afraid, give this one a try. I think it'll work very smoothly for you. You'll get nice crisp results due to the great, simple, and accurate cutting. With the AccuQuilt die, you simply line up your fabrics and you can cut up to six at a time right on the blocks. And the two-tone color foam makes it very easy to see where you're doing that. So I'm just going to begin by putting two blue fabrics right on top. I'm going to go ahead and cut two of the red ones as well. The block I'm about to make is going to have blue and red interlocked to make purple. I'm just going to slide a mat right on top. Now here we're going really quickly to show you how it cuts. It goes very smoothly through. You can see the pieces are very precise. Now go ahead and add the purple. That will be the middle section where the blue and red overlap. Take that out. And then the last part of the die cuts the white that's the top and the bottom of each block. Next for the piecing. I align things with the little notches, get the corners, and a center pin. And what I'm doing here is getting the curves lined up. I'll turn that upside down so the flat side is on the machine table. And I sew my quarter inch seam allowance, pulling out the pins so I don't break a needle. Now here I'll slow it down so you can see what it looks like, a finished piece with the seams ironed open. Now for the other part of the block. I attach a white top to the blue, pinning at the notches, and pinning again at each end. This will allow me to sew a very smooth and accurate curve. I'll put this through the machine. Now here, I've got a before and after also, and you can see what it looks like when I've sewn the top and bottom whites, and you can see where this other piece will go in. And I line these up in much the same way, pinning through the notches, pinning through the seams, again, pinning at a notch, and at the ends. And these simple pins will make that curve very smooth. Same thing on the other side. I love those notches. And all pinned. Again, the curved side down, the flat side down. And I go through, sewing, sewing. I just kind of hold the curve smooth with my fingers as I go. It's such a big curve that there's a lot of flex in it. It's actually very forgiving. The first one or two you do, it will seem very strange if you're not used to curves, but then when you open it up, you'll see, wow, you've got a pretty nice piece there. So here it is, all pressed open. You can see on the back, we've pressed our seams open. You could do whatever you like, but we like the flat look. You have a great transparency. These fabrics are from the color collection, which we designed for Andover Fabrics. I hope you enjoy working with the AccuQuilt system and this accurate dye, which will let you make a beautiful local color quilt.